Welcome to the Automotive Blockchain Channel, everyone. Hey, I wanted to once again give a quick shout out to all of my subscribers. A warm love dub goes out to you, as well as all of you who are new to the channel. Thank you for joining. Hey, jump on in. There are more four doors on this vehicle. We are about to get started. Today, 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 we are going to be talking about semiconductors. And on the first article, it is going to be drawn from Automotive News China. And we're going to be talking about some of the bottlenecks that pertain to semiconductor manufacturing. We'll also be covering blockchain and how that affects the semiconductor and chip manufacturing in the automotive industry. So here we go, folks. First up, semiconductor bottlenecks hit the auto sector. VW suppliers warn. This is from earlier in December here. And it starts off Beijing. Volkswagen Group, along with German auto supplier, Continental Bosch on Friday warned about a shortage of semiconductor components needed for automotive production. The pandemic has hit auto and auto parts productions globally, and auto manufacturing has grown increasingly reliant on important chips for electronic parts, such as electronic control units, the ECUs, and the ECPs, the electronic stability programs. Now keep in mind, electronic stability programs having to do with the stability of your vehicle and also the internal controls of the, of the vehicle. These are semiconductors for the chip manufacturing going along with it. So the production has slowed down during hard lockdowns due to the pandemic of 2020. Everybody knows that a lot of these chips are made over in China. This particular article goes on to read, although the semiconductor manufacturers have already responded to unexpected demand with capacity expansion, the required additional volumes will only be available for six to nine months. Now, keep in mind, this article is written in December of 2020. So you have to think about that's already going to be going into 2021, such as, as it reads here, Therefore, the potential delivery bottlenecks may last into 2021. I personally would just kind of consider that to be a, hmm, sounds obvious. Volkswagen is the biggest foreign auto manufacturer, automaker in China, uh, and said that China's overall auto production could be interrupted after the pandemic disrupts chip supplies globally for some electronic components. Now, that being said, Bosch is the world's largest auto supplier, all right? It said it is too, it too was seeing uh, supply chain bottlenecks for certain components. Quote, currently there is a shortage of certain semiconductor components in global procurement markets, including the automotive sector. Now keep in mind, for those of you that don't know who Bosch is, as it reads there, Bosch is one of the world's, is the world's largest auto supplier of all sorts of parts. Uh, just to give you a quick example of that, um, an alternator that could be in a Mercedes Benz, um, is not going to be the same alternator that you would buy uh, necessarily for the Mercedes-Benz in aftermarket. They, uh, it's just wired different inside. Uh, it has more cycles of, co of copper that can go around. Um, that is what some of the Bosch reps have told me when I've been in these um, in dealership training seminars. Now, that said, no supplier can elude this market development. We are in close contact with our suppliers and customers to maintain a uh, to, to maintain the supply chains as much as possible, despite the tense market situations. Um, now, here's the thing: I look at that, and uh, you know, when you understand that the Chinese market controls a significant portion uh, of the production of these semiconductors, you have to wonder there's going to be uh, some rerouting of supply chains. Uh, and we're going to get into that when we get a little bit into the blockchain side of things and how that could help confirm that the semiconductors and the chips that are being manufactured are legit. Uh, a few more things on this particular article. All right. One senior industrial official who declined to be named told Reuters that he expects the shortage of chips will continue to impact China's car production for a while. And several international and local car companies will face production interruptions in the short term, but at different levels. Now, for those of you who don't realize, China is expected to sell over 22 million vehicles in the first 11 months, down just 3% from the same period of uh, year over year. Volkswagen also said it was closely monitoring the situation and has already started coordinating with suppliers to make appropriate countermeasures. So moving over into the blockchain side of things, this article coming from Nik uh, Nikkei Asia, uh, the <laughs> scrolling problems, blockchain to help automakers tame tangled chip supplies, vehicle and semiconductor makers to join hands on a tracking system. 
So with all of the shorts coming up, as I read in the previous article, that may come up in the semiconductor uh, side of the manufacturing, the question we have to ask is, are the chips being manufactured legit? Are they the ones that they really should be going in the vehicles, or are they counterfeits? Well, Tokyo, Ford Motor was once a model of the vertical integrated company. Handling everything from growing timber to assembly finishes, vehicles in Michigan. Fast forward 100 years and the current auto industry is completely different, dependent on supply chains that sprawl across the planet in a myriad of industries. So enter in the 100, mobi 100 company Mobility Open Blockchain Initiative. And for those of you that have been in the news, you understand that stands for Mobi, which includes the likes of Honda and GM. And for those of you just wondering, it also has Ripple as part of the partners, or excuse me, as part of that Mobi initiative. And Electronic Industries Association, SEMI. So SEMI, which uh, counts Intel among its 2,000 members, will within the next, so that's Mobi and SEMI, will within the next few years bring together supply chain management systems they each have under development. This will enable chips and other components to be tracked at every stage of production and transportation process. They're going to be logging every single step along the way, and we'll get into how they're going to be doing that in just a few seconds. The technology will leverage to help automakers get a handle on cross-border supply chains that have grown too large and complex for a single company to fully grasp. In my opinion, when you start looking at these cross-border supply chains, there is also going to be cross-border payments that are going to be needing to happen um, uh, you know, for these companies to be communicating with each other. I am a personal belief that companies such as Ripple Technology and perhaps the XRP associated with Ripple, um, the as a payment uh, platform associated with that will be a portion of that or maybe something like Stellar uh, could also be included in there. Now because I do think uh, that this is going to be cross-border, I personally don't believe that Bitcoin or Ethereum um, is going to have anything to do with these cross-border payments that are going to be uh, that are going to be dealing with these supply chains. Because keep in mind, a company that's going to be let's say let's say located in northern Africa that's going to be communicating uh, with a company that's located in China and purchasing an, um, uh, the chips or any of the raw materials in order to create the chips. There's going to have to be made. There's going to have to be payments um, associated with that before those things get manufactured. So I personally think that I can see where companies such as the Ripple or, or Stellar Technologies will be integrated in those areas, and some other ones that are going to be merging out of the woodwork as we speak. Moving on in this article, though, counterfeit chips with falsified manufacturer names or quality assurances cost the U.S. semiconductor companies seven. Point five billion a year by one estimate. Low quality fakes have reportedly found their way into the inventories of companies that scramble to stock up semiconduct on semiconductors to maximize the impact of supply chain links being severed amid the coronavirus pandemic. Blockchain. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen to this here. Blockchain technology uses so-called distributed ledgers. Uh, so-called distributed ledgers. Anyway, we'll move on from that. Under the Envision system, and that is between Semi and the Mobia initiative, under the Envision system, products and semiconductor manufacturer, manufacturing gear would be labeled with a two-dimensional barcode, like a QR code. This would be scanned at each step of the process, showing where the items were shipped and what equipment they were processed on. Companies could also access the system to confirm that they received the right products. In other words, during the supply chain from shipping around, making sure that uh, one is not uh, misplaced or you know one taken out of commission and a false one put in. Um, the manufacturer industry is a, well, let's just say, uh, can be Robin Hooded <laughs> from time to time. The technology can also be used now listen very closely. The technology can also be used to record greenhouse gas emissions generated by the production of each part. So you have to think about this for a second. It's not just the semiconductor business, such as the Intels out there who are creating the chips, but it's also the auto manufacturing side. You put the two together, make a complete part. It'll show the efficiency of that individual component and then be able to say, you know what? This is recording a lot more greenhouse gases than what it should 
Now that said, I understand that there are a lot, everyone, I've said this in a number of different videos, there are a lot of manufacturers out there, aka all of them that I have know of, that are, have a lot of initiatives for becoming a zero emission manufacturing uh, company by let's say 2025, 2030. They all have these initiatives of making sure that they're going to be becoming more green. That is just part of the law of the various countries that these manufacturers um, you know, have are headquartered. It's just the way that it is. Now, that's what we have for this. So keep this in mind. As technology begins to change and these semiconductors and these chips are going into these vehicles, what is one thing that's going to be keeping them all together? In my opinion, artificial intelligence. Yes, it is my opinion that artificial intelligence and being able to communicate from these vehicles, these communication systems that will be in the vehicles, um, will be able to communicate back to um, various infrastructures within the city as well as government and non-government organizations in order to track all of this stuff. Um, we'll just say the AI of it all. Um, so, let me know what you think of this video. We have it there on semiconductors. And hey, do not forget to subscribe for those of you who have not. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified for future videos coming out. And I look forward to seeing you soon.